This is the club juggling portion of the series Juggling Step by Step. In the previous segments, you learned how to build up a juggling move, going step by step. Now we assume that you are your own best teacher. You can look at what we present and add your own imagination. Then break the move down into the smallest possible steps and build it back up again, practicing every step and every portion of every step and then putting this mosaic back together to form a whole picture. That's the way an expert like John Webster puts together a routine. Some of the segments will have detailed instruction, and some will have none. It's up to you to follow the instruction or to create your own instruction. Watching what John does and the other jugglers on the tape adding your imagination, and coming up with your own moves and your own style. From now on, you're on your own. You're your own best teacher. You'll be able to get inspired by people like John, who know a lot about juggling and showmanship. In order to pass clubs with a partner, you start with three. Throw back and forth from yourself to your partner. Follow a rectangular path. The club goes from your right hand to your partner's left, from your partner's left to right, then back to your left and back to your right. If you follow this path with three clubs, you can do it with six. Let's watch John and Robert as they throw three clubs back and forth in a classic runaround.
In order to pass with your partner, start with the club that's in your left hand. That's the third club. Raise your hands, right, left, right. There's number three, pass it across. There's number three again. It's coming out of your right hand. Now throw every other club. We'll do it again for you. First, every third club. And now every other club. And finally, every club goes flying across. Every throw from the right hand goes across to your partner's left. In order to see the pattern a little better, we'll slow it down. All your left hand throws go across your chest and you catch them in your right hand. Your right hand throws go over to your partner's left hand. You're making a rectangle from your right to his left to his right to your left. Just follow the blue club. It looks a lot more difficult than it is. If you can juggle clubs, you can pass clubs. This is called a feed. I'm going to pass every one. Amy and one are alternating. First I pass to Amy, then to one, then to Amy, then to one, then to Amy, then to one. You can feed any number of people. The person in the center is called the post. The post looks from juggler to juggler. The person he looks at is the person he's passing to. Concentration is important. It's also important to be able to adjust your throws and to be able to catch what we call garbage. Quite often you'll get a throw that's very difficult. But you can still readjust and get back into the pattern. The hardest job is the job of the post. The post must throw every time. In this case, the other jugglers throw every other time. This is true Las Vegas style or circus style juggling. In order to pass seven objects between two people, one person has to start with four. The person who starts with four throws a little in advance of the other, but it's the same pattern. Alternate your hands, right, left, right, left. The rings go from my right hand to my partner's left, from her left to her right, and to my left. It looks a lot more complex than it is. It's really just like passing six, only it's a little higher and a little faster. The start is the most difficult part. Practice that and you'll be able to do it. to finish, one person can collect all the rings. That means they catch and you throw. That's it. With seven clubs, it's very much the same. You can do double flips or you can do singles. It's easier to start the doubles. And again, one partner can collect them all. Here's John starting. 
Robert followed. Your throw to yourself is a single, but your throw to your partner is a double. And now, they're all singles. And back up to doubles. This move requires tremendous concentration and lots of practice. And here comes the last club, voila. To pass eight, each person starts with four. Now you're going to have to throw higher and faster. Your hands almost throw simultaneously. In order to pass eight clubs, each of you takes four. The first throw is critical, nice and high, and the second one right behind it. It doesn't last long. And here we go again in slow motion. First throw, and then to yourself, and then second throw. It's still right, left, right, left. Four clubs are simply two in each hand. You learn how to do doubles and circle toward the outside so that the club goes up the center, arcs over, and comes out toward the outside. Then throw simultaneously. You're throwing doubles with your right and left hands at the same time. After you can throw simultaneously, you can throw alternately. Right, left, right, left. The pattern is the same, however. You're arcing out from the center toward the outside, and each hand is working with two separate clubs. Notice that the clubs do not change hands. The clubs in the right hand stay in the right hand. The clubs in the left hand stay in the left hand. Accuracy is extremely important. Throw to the same height every time. Get the feeling for a double. Once you have four clubs under control, 
You can even throw columns and singles and then go back into doubles. You can even cross the clubs by throwing a high triple with your right hand. The left hand throws singles. Here we are again in slow motion. Triple with the right, single with the left. Now, that same pattern while executing a turn. Accuracy is extremely important. That's a back cross, first with the right and then with the left. Now a series of back crosses with triples. Now columns and a pirouette. Column, pirouette. And columns with great separation. In order to throw five clubs, you first have to learn how to throw one club with a good consistent double. Now with three clubs, you throw from one hand and catch in the other. One, two, three, one, two, three. All the clubs cross your body and they all follow the same path. This is like five with two empty spaces. And now for five clubs. Good separation is important. It goes without saying that you must have excellent concentration. And every club goes to the same height. And here's the finish. A high throw, pirouette. Notice that John catches the clubs down on the handle, near the knob, and throws from the same position. There's no time to readjust. Notice also the two peaks, right and left, are exactly the same height.
This is the club juggling portion of the series Juggling Step by Step. In the previous segments, you learned how to build up a juggling move, going step by step. Now we assume that you are your own best teacher. You can look at what we present and add your own imagination. Then break the move down into the smallest possible steps and build it back up again, practicing every step and every portion of every step and then putting this mosaic back together to form a whole picture. That's the way an expert like John Webster puts together a routine. Some of the segments will have detailed instruction. And some will have none. It's up to you to follow the instruction or to create your own instruction. Watching what John does and the other jugglers on the tape adding your imagination and coming up with your own moves and your own style. From now on, you're on your own. You're your own best teacher. This is the club juggling portion of the series Juggling Step by Step. In the previous segments, you learned how to build up a juggling move, going step by step. Now we assume that you are your own best teacher. You can look at what we present and add your own imagination. Then break the move down into the smallest possible steps.